Hey y'all, it's Nana from livingcooper.com. I have a coop simple how-to for you. I'm trying to stay hydrated, cold and flu season, coronavirus, seasonal allergies. I'm getting over some of that myself. And I wanna show you a quick, simple, easy, affordable homemade hand sanitizer. As you know, the stores are running bare. People are going crazy. My recipe is about 15 cents an ounce. These from Bath and Body are $1.50 to $1.95 an ounce if you can get your hands on them. So let's get started. Here's the tools I used. Some funnels, something to stir with, a glass measuring cup, and a plate to catch any spillage. Here are the ingredients I used. 91% alcohol, aloe vera gel, and if you choose, you can do an essential oil. A lot of people recommend tea tree oil because it's naturally an antibacterial. The last thing you need is a dispensing container like these. I'm using the plate to catch any spills or splashes. You need two thirds cup, 91% alcohol. This was $1.48 at Walmart. Oops, and I even missed my plate. Aloe vera gel. We usually keep this in the fridge because we sunburn easily and living in Texas, we're in the sun a lot. This is $3.98. It's um, one third cup of the aloe vera gel. Put them in there, and then this one I'm going to make with eucalyptus. My first batch I made with some Breathe Easy that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It was about six bucks a little jar. My second batch over here I made with the recommended tea tree oil. I do not like the smell of tea tree oil, so I'm not going to repeat that. This one I'm using eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus. It's just a few drops of choice. You don't have to do any. These are all flavors we had already laying around the house. And then you need to stir it up. I haven't quite found something I like the most, the best, because it needs to be stirred very well. One thing I really like about this homemade recipe is I don't have the little beads in it. You know, they were talking about how the micro beads that they put in all this stuff is hurting our ecosystem. I don't, even, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of a little bit it's still runny, but there's a little bit of the gel that's mixing, the jelly consistency. Like hand sanitizer, duh. All right, then, so I think if you wanna make it a little thicker, you can add more aloe. That's kind of a, a choice you make. Um, the alcohol obviously is the disinfectant. The aloe is the moisturizer that you're gonna get. I'm taking this tomorrow for church for our Sunday school class. Pour it in here. Try my collapsible funnel. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a second batch and then whatever's left over I'll put in a little portable one. And you'll hang tight. So two thirds cup alcohol. And one bottle of alcohol makes three full batches and if you have several bottles of alcohol you can obviously add to it. Eucalyptus. Now, on a normal everyday time of year, I am not a big hand sanitizer user. I hate how dehydrated my hands get, but I have been using it a lot this week. Like I said, I'm just getting over some seasonal allergies and an ear infection. So every time I go somewhere, I am using hand sanitizer when I get back to the car, just out of a little bit of precaution very many cases where we are but they keep saying it's going to get worse all right so top this off this is a soap or lotion dispenser that i picked up for a bathroom for five bucks at ross i have a little bit left i'm going to put it in my spray container i got at walmart for 97 cents but i need a different funnel because that one doesn't help and this one I will probably put in my car or in my purse just to have it with me. There you go. All right, y'all. That was quick and easy. Pretty painless. Y'all keep watching. I'm fixing to wrap it up. A few tips. You want to have a rag. You saw me wipe in my hands a few times. This is a t-shirt scrap. You should check out my t-shirt blankets. I love having scraps around. When I pour into some of these dispensers, I put it in a jar so it kind of stands up a little better, kind of holds it a little better so obviously there's no flat bottom. 
All right, let's talk about how this stuff really works. So I made these two days ago, and I don't know how well you can see it, but they're a little bit separated. So you need to shake it up so the aloe and alcohol mix up a little better. But this is just a spray bottle, like you would use for hairspray or whatever. And I don't know how well you can see it. It's pretty jelly. It goes in pretty good. Dries pretty quick. It's all gone. This one again, it's about two days old. You can see it's separated. This is a foam dis foaming dispenser. That's why I picked it up. For those of you that prefer a foam, I'm not a scientist. Obviously, it doesn't have foaming supplies in there, foam foaming ingredients in there. It works, it comes out. It's a mess. It comes out down here. This was overpriced and was not for this purpose, but if you can't find any other type of container, it'll work. All right, this one I made three days ago now, and I don't have to shake it anymore. There is still a little bit of residue on the bottom, but for the most part, it's all mixed in. And this is actually a double batch, and it's perfectly perfect how you want gel dispenser to come out. It's very even seems to put out a lot. So just don't push the pump all the way down. Just do half a squirt if you don't need a ton. You just saw me make these just a few minutes ago. It's still mixed. No, oh, I didn't press it. There you go. Freshly made. The gel consistency is perfect for hand sanitizing gel. So I hope this video helped you out. Just a quick, easy DIY on some hand sanitizer. Get you something to do while there's this madness going on. More important, get outside. Go enjoy the vitamin D. State parks are open. We went to Big Bend Ranch State Park this time last year. Absolutely beautiful. Whatever state or country you live in, go out in the great outdoors. Enjoy the sun. It's good for you. It helps make everything better. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. Create your own scented hand sanitizer if you don't like other scents or you can't find any on the shelves. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down. Either way, please leave me some comments. Leave me some suggestions, some videos you'd like us to make. Travel, review, DIY, home improvement, just kind of anything. Also, if you don't like this recipe, if you have a better recipe, if you'd recommend a different recipe, leave those in the comments because that can help people out too. I chose this recipe because it's the most shared recipe in my Facebook group. My friends and family, everybody sharing this recipe. That's why I chose this recipe. Let me know what recipe you prefer. Please check us out on social media, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. We are at Living Cooper. Check out our blog, livingcooper.com. Most importantly, please subscribe. We appreciate all the subscriptions we can get. Check out our other videos and share them, as well as hitting that notification bell. Y'all keep watching. I don't know what else you want me to do. Well, pick it up and... No, no, no.